Hello everyone, Tommy Station here. Um, been absent for a couple of weeks, but now it's catch up time. Um, still way too hot up in the attic, so um, I'm outside making a quick video. Um, I've just purchased this. This is um, a Macklin DHG700 shunter or switcher. Um, it's new, but I bought it as used. And I got it for a very good, very good price. So you're thinking, haha, Marklin, that's three rail, and you're right. This is an AC logo. But my project is to convert this into a DC logo. So uh, this will be an interesting project. I've never attempted to do anything like that before. So there you can see the center pickup. Has two traction tires. It's never been used. This never been used. It came with all the packaging and the books and the warranty and everything. And like I say, for the price I paid for this, I'm very happy. <laughs> anyway, um, the motor looks to be almost exactly the same as the motors that are in my Pico locomotives. So I've no idea. Can this motor be run on DC, or is it just purely AC, or does it have a converter somewhere in the electronics? I've no idea. Um, anyway, I have a couple of spare five-pole Pico motors, so if this one won't run on DC, then I can fit one of my Pico motors. Um, I would like to get this one running, though, and you see it has a flywheel. And it has quite a good selection of gears inside. I can't see everything. So I'll probably lose a lot of the lighting functions, um, like the automatic switch on going forwards and backwards, etc. The flashing light won't work. Um, I'm not clever enough to be able to uh, dabble with electronics. I, I keep everything very simple with my locos. Anyway, uh, this will be, like I say, an interesting project. I've never attempted to do it before. I've been trying to find uh, YouTube videos of people who have converted them um, and it looks highly possible, obviously people have done it and they've also gone the other way, they've gone from 2 rail to 3 rail so um, like I say this one um, looks like it can be done quite simply, there's no connecting rods or anything so um, separating the wheels Hopefully it won't be a problem and I need to insulate them on the one side and make my pickups. And then uh, hopefully this will run. It's qu quite weighty. I'm, I'm surprised. It's, I, I haven't weighed it. I will. Um, but like I say, it's far too hot up in my attic at the moment. So I'm outside. This might be an outside project until it cools down. So there we go, that's just to let you know what I'm up to now. This is the first new locomotive I bought for a long, long time. Okay, so thanks for watching. Bye now. Hello everyone. Okay, so this is the completed uh, DC conversion. Um, as I said, I bought this Marklin um, DHG700. Um, brand new at a very very reasonable price so I thought okay this is a good candidate for me to experiment converting an AC loco to DC so the first thing I noticed was it had a DC motor which greatly uh, helped me a lot um, <coughs> I've been watching a few conversions uh, where people modify the Macklin Ringfield type motor and it's quite involved so I was quite happy to see a 12 volt motor this is obviously being fitted with a rectifier to convert it from AC to DC um, so like I say the, that side of it was quite straightforward um, I'll just show you the, the wheel configuration if you look at the two front axles they're quite close together um, which presented a problem with points because I'll go over a bit more. 
the rear axle is fitted with uh, traction tyres so obviously there's no um, electrical contact between the wheels and the track so what I've had to do is install some skids that's the only way okay external pickups um, so that the power can be transmitted from the track to the um, motor I originally used some phosphor bronze um, pickups but they were too stiff and it was putting too much pressure on the um, two front axles so I've changed those to thinner nickel type uh, pickups which came off an old bogey um, so there's a bit of resistance on the two front axles when they're rolling because obviously um, it hasn't had much use I'm up in my attic it's red hot up here so <coughs> I won't be here long so like I say um, with this wheel configuration uh, running over points was a problem but I think I've cured that now by fitting these skids as I like to call them okay so let's put it on the track and see how it performs now then I'm going to pick up some some wagons now then it's just gone over my bad points so that will just show that um, my pickup system is working and of course I'm making a video so something's bound to go wrong it actually runs very well um, as long as I can um, stop it stalling on points or I'll be very happy Markman are obviously very good quality uh, products um, this one was no problem at all to disassemble everything was very simple um, the motor was just clipped in um, the biggest issue which needs to be done very carefully is drilling the wheels for insulators to be installed um, luckily I think my hand was steady enough and I managed to drill them um, quite accurately for a change so I've avoided any major wheel wobble there's very limited clearance between the inner faces of the wheels and the chassis so um, there's a small nub on the wheels or a boss um, I had to file those down flush with the wheel otherwise they would have shorted on the chassis I've also fitted some very thin plastic washers to avoid the wheel contacting the chassis and causing a short on the power side so there we go that's running very very well so it looks like I've cured the issue of the stalling on points by fitting those um, skids um, would I do another conversion not with this type of wheel configuration no um, because it's okay you can't see those skids as I call them um, when the locals run in but it's not ideal it would be better if contacts could be put onto the inner faces of the wheel where you can't be seen where they can't be seen but anyway um, if it was a normal 060 configuration um, without traction tyres then it would be a lot simpler to do So this is my very first attempt at converting an AC local to DC. Um, I had thought about uh, converting a steam local I had a chance to buy for next to nothing. But then when I looked at all the connecting rods and everything has to be uh, obviously time quartered, um, I thought no, it's far too, far too much work. 
So I'm happy. I've succeeded in a mission. And it's actually running far better than I thought. I'm going to slow it right down now. I even got the lights working. They're not directional, they're just on. Uh, Right, let's see if I can get even slower. There we go. As I said, the f front two axles are, s are a bit stiff because there's quite a bit of pressure um, on the on the inner faces of the wheels with the uh, pickups. So the more I run this, the better it should get. So look at that. That's that's quite good. Okay, so I'll stop it there. Okay, and then over on the middle track, there's what I would call its bigger brother. There we go. It's a BR284. So like I say, um, I've got quite a mixture of manufacturers. Um, Roco, Pico, Hornby, Lima, Backman. Um, uh, now I have a Marklin in my collection so there we go quite happy to have accomplished that conversion from AC to DC ok so thank you for watching bye now